Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Today I'm going to see if it's possible to make a projector using just a cardboard box and a phone, and maybe some tape. So let's do it. So a while ago I made a video about the camera obscura. Now this is a really cool thing and it can actually occur naturally. But it's a phenomenon where light enters through a small hole into a dark room and actually projects an image of what it's pointing at onto a wall in the room. Now typically artists, they would use these to trace and paint landscapes. And I actually made a small camera obscura and simulated myself being in the box with the camera that I had at the time. It's actually a really cool project. You should definitely check out that video after this one. Anyway, I'm using the same principle here for the projector. All I need is a box with a small hole in it and I'm actually putting my phone in the box this time so that when I point the pinhole at a wall, hopefully what is on my phone screen should be projected onto the wall. So let's try it. Okay, so I've just taped, I've got the picture of an apple here. This I used for a thumbnail for a recent video. Um, but I've just taped that there onto this part of the box because um, it actually works better on a shorter distance. Um, and then if that's here, that means roughly here. I've just got a skewer to poke the hole. Yeah, so a tiny little hole there. All right, there we go. Let's turn off the lights. And let's see if I can see anything. Let me try to turn up the sensitivity to the light here. Here we go. So I've just got a, just got this like piece of paper here. Um, it's a bit hard. I can see it on the wall, but it's a bit hard for me to get the camera that close to the wall. So the paper is my wall now. But look at this. So that picture of the apple is right there. And it looks like the closer I get to it, the more vibrant it becomes. Um, and the camera's actually not really picking it up. If I put it on the wall, oh yeah, you can sort of see it on the wall there. It's only just visible here. It is the middle of the day and I've done my best to make this room as dark as possible, but it's still pretty bright in here in comparison to if it was nighttime. That is so cool though. Look at that. Just through a hole, I can see the apple. And if I want it to be bigger than the phone screen, I have to hold it about that far away, I think. So it does work, but not that well. The image was quite dim. Uh, even though I was in a dark room with my phone's brightness all the way up, you could still hardly see it. And to make things worse, the image was flipped left to right and it was upside down. So why is that? Okay, well as we know, light travels in a straight line. So in the box, my light source is the phone screen. Here's the phone. And so some of the light rays, they'd be moving like this coming off the phone. They'll just be going in straight lines, like so, coming off the phone like that. And as you can see here, this means that most of the light coming from the screen is actually being reflected and then absorbed uh, onto the inner wall of the cardboard box here. And only some of it is making it through onto the wall. And so that's what makes it dim. And now the reason why the image is upside down and flipped left to right that's because light coming from the side of the screen, say like this, coming from this side of the screen, will go through the hole like this and then get reflected off the wall there. It's the same on this side too. And then even from the top, top to the bottom, so it's the same thing. Oh, missed the hole there, but you get my point. Yep, yeah, so left goes right, right goes left, top goes to the bottom, and the bottom goes to the top. So that's why it's flipped left to right and flipped upside down, and that's why it is dim, because not much light makes it out of the hole. 
So the solution to all these problems could be relatively simple, but with this setup, the results mainly just won't be worth my time. I could simply flip my phone upside down to have it project the right way up and then use a mirror to flip it back from left to right. So that solves the flipping issue. But the brightness issue, well, I just need a super bright phone screen pretty much. Or I could make the hole bigger and that would make the image more blurry though. But then I could use a lens like a magnifying glass to refocus the light, which might make it work. But at this stage, I would have almost invented a bad projector. A normal LED projector just uses a bright light with some lenses to direct that light, not a pinhole, because that wastes a bunch of light. But anyway, I thought this was a fun little experiment. You can check out my other video on this topic where I made a camera obscura. I think that way is a lot more fun than what I did here today because I was actually able to take a selfie with the box camera. But that's all there is today. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.